Hey all, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS for last time. We went through the Spirit Temple as a child and actually got these snazzy silver gauntlets. Thank you for showing them off, Link. We promised to get them to Nuburu, but she got taken away by Twin Rova due to some black magic. And now we are going through the Spirit Temple as an adult. Fully prepared in order to actually head through this little area right here. With our newfound silver gauntlets, we could actually push this block, no problem. We are super strong and hands only. Does it increase our attack strength? No. Should it have? Yes. But, uh, they don't plan that far ahead. So now that we actually have access to this entire other side, we're going to be dealing with a couple extra little nuances that include using the silver gauntlets. Now that we're here as an adult, we can make use of that. So this area is pretty much the exact same thing as before. We just have... Ow. <laughs> Let me, uh... Switch this out for standard arrows, so I'm not wasting magic. Okay. And... Boop. And that should open up that way. So we have a couple ways to go through on this side. This side doesn't connect like the other side does, so we kind of have to work our way through. Hi. You can die. <laughs> I'm not going to be dealing with you today. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you just face the completely wrong way? We got the dungeon map as a child, so it's only logical that we get the compass as an adult. Alright, and we go over here. And get it. No real reason to enter this room otherwise. It just shows it's helpful in actually showing where things are at. But... Eh? <laughs> it's not like you really necessarily need the compass for anything. It just kind of shows you where things are. All right. So now let's head on this side so we can actually get this chest over here, which logically would contain the key. I mean, I don't know about you, but we need a key and there is a... Thank you. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to happen at all. Excuse me? <laughs> okay. That's fine. I can work with that. I will just kind of aim at it and... Ow. Not get it. Thank you, game. I, I almost got hit by that again. So let's actually aim right and then walk forward properly. Thank you. Okay. I am so happy I did not get hit by that. <laughs> okay. There we go, and that should unlock a golden sculpture, I believe. Either that, yep. Ow. <laughs> well, can you, can you, thank you. That's, that's fine. I have more than enough hearts to spare. So golden sculpture, we have potentially one more as an adult, but there is another one that we can get that we weren't able to actually get because we were a child and we needed the scarecrow song in order to reach. It's only so many times I can forget a song. You gotta sit there and keep playing it and eventually it'll come to mind, but I'm still not gonna remember it after this. All right. I'm sorry, but right A down is the only way I'm gonna remember that song properly. Hi. Hi. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, not deal with that. Thank you. I didn't work. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> okay, and this little sparkly spot is this one. Okay, I guess it's a different song. I'm kind of shocked that that didn't work. So apparently it's a different song each time. Fun. Okay. What song are you? Because I don't want to sit here and have to play through all my songs. Just figure this out. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. Okay.
All right, got the key. We we're good there. Now we can head through here. No problem. Hi. 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 No. 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 <laughs> yeah, the, the, they place those things like candy in this dungeon, and it's ridiculous. Okay, nothing there. So let's climb up. I like seeing two chests on my map like that. Hi. I could see you, no problem. Ow. Thank you, game. I was trying to use my shield. There we go. There we go. Now they're going to turn into little teeny ones, so I'm not going to let that happen. Thank you, Navi. I love the fact that you can just see that. All right. So these, on the other hand, do they actually show me which ones are the real or fake ones? Nope. All right. So I'm just going to have to take a guess. And I guess it shall be. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that. It's okay. I am just going to go through all of them because why not? Wrong. Gives me his chest though. Gives me a chest. Correct. Which opens the door. But we still have one more. So, um,. Oh, yay. That's, uh, not deal with you. Thank you. At least I can see you. And I get 20 rupees out of it. Oh, 40 rupees out of it. Okay. So let's push it back this way. Alright, so these chests, what were in them exactly? Thank you. I can't tell. So, um, how about I open? That's a nope. And what about you? All right, at least that one had a recovery heart in it, so technically I got my heart back. It's okay. Kind of marks them off the map, so I'm good there. And you, on the other hand, you aren't one. So you are just kind of like a trickery sort of deal. All right. Now we're on this side, which is pretty snazzy in itself, but uh, looks like we can reach that if we had the hover beats, which we do. I mean, we can kind of just kind of... I'm pretty sure you can just run and jump that, but uh, I don't feel like climbing back up if I miss, so just use the hover boots. <laughs> Alright, that gives us a little teeny chest on that hand, so we need to work our way over there. Okie dokie. Do this. And then I am going to let Navi kind of go over there. Or this. Really? Okay. Okay then. You're not going to work like that for me? So you want me to go over there for it. Okay. I mean, you would think that Navi just going over there would be kind of the sum of everything I needed, but, um, you would be wrong in this case. All right. Okay, Navi. Sure. <laughs> because that makes sense. Okay, thank you, Pierre. And thank you, Golden Sculptula. All right. Did, was, did I just hear a pot? What? <laughs> okay, so we have a chest on the other side still, so... Oh, there was a pot. Okay. So I'm gonna go over here. And it'll look like that we can't get back up, but as an adult, they made it so you can. Because they expected you not to be able to use a hookshot as a child because it totally makes sense that you can't. I, I don't get that still. We got a chest over there that we can just go boop and use it. And the only other real use for the Megaton Hammer in this game is right here. <laughs> Which opens up the door in the center. 
which we can use if we needed to, which we can, and I'm going to. Because why not? Door. Work with me. It's a door. Okay. So let's push this. There we go. And then push this one. go and then we have a switch right here that opens up a shortcut if we ever needed to get back here from the beginning we just can use that no problem if we like if we leave the dungeon for any reason at all we can just come right back now it makes it really easy to do and saves us a good like five ten minutes of actually going around and getting everything much easier that way so let's head over here and deal with this room. Finally. Hey there. Bye there. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. Nor am I dealing with you. That worked. <laughs> um, I'm actually curious. I know you can just use Din's fire, but as an adult, can you use... Fire arrow. Let's find out. That is a yes. Hi there. Okay, I guess they just don't activate just yet. So how about if I get closer? Okay, this one on the other hand moves in weird patterns, but I'll just do that. Alright. Now for you. I totally defeated the purpose of this room by using my items. Because normally what you're supposed to do is activate this switch and have the fire get activated. Because when you hit this, it activates the fire there and then you kind of got to move around and make it so it kills itself. And you have a block right there that you can use the Song of Time on to make it appear in order to be able to move over there and be able to kill it. But I totally avoided the whole purpose of the room just by activating the right things. Hi there. Hi there. Hi there. Okay, this is annoying. Because we need to get in there. Ow. And in order to do that, I actually want to head up there. But we can't yet. We need to actually get these guys to hit this switch for us. Like so. And then hightail it towards the door. Please hit the switch for me. Please hit the switch for me. Okay. Okay. One of you got to hit the switch for me. I don't know which one is going to be, but I hope it's the one that's right next to me. Ah! <laughs> I almost missed that chance. All right, any golden sculpture? Nope. It would have been nice, but it's still a nope. But we do have two chests in this room. I'm pretty sure we do. Aha! A recovery heart. A recovery heart. <laughs> okay. Something better than that would have been a little bit nice. Yeah, we got a mirror room of the other one from before. So what do you think? We got another iron knuckle to deal with? So, as an adult, it's slightly easier to deal with, but, um... Oh, yeah, I'm out of magic. Eh, that's fine. I can deal with this. Yeah, <laughs> totally I can deal with this. He didn't even leave like his chair that far. Like, took like two steps and then got up and was pretty much done. All right. So as you can tell, fighting the other one unlocks another big chest. But what could be in here? A new shield, the mirror shield. This shield's polished surface can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. Yep. So, finally, filling the last item slot is the mirror shield. Pretty useful in the fact that it blocks a lot of things, reflects things. I like the design of this one a lot. They did change it from the original. It did have, like, a crescent moon design. 
But it's okay. It's not like it's that big of a deal regardless. The heck? Huh. Oh, that's part of the music. I was hearing like a weird noise. <laughs> okay. That's what happens when you actually use headphones. But now that we are done with that, we can use this right over here in order to do this. And that gives us access to this, which this is a key that we definitely would have needed unless we like hacked keys or something like that. Then the mirror show would have been almost completely useless for that part. I like how the enemies don't return, even though you technically left the dungeon. But yeah, we're dealing with this nasty puzzle. Which is a fun time in itself, but, uh... Really? 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 <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna wait a moment. Okay, go, 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 go. Ow. That's fine. Ow. Okay, you can't climb on them when they... Please stop. Okay. So I'm gonna wait a moment. Okay, and then I'm gonna go. Because you can't be climbing on them when they move around for some dumb reason. Kick. Let me do this. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. <laughs> That's just, uh... There. Now I don't have to worry. So, I'm gonna avoid this puzzle entirely. Thank you. <laughs> Still not technically avoiding it entirely, though. I do want these. Okay. We. I almost missed that entirely. So. <laughs> I would have laughed so hard if I got hit it by that. <laughs> After doing that much to avoid the puzzle, I was like, ow. Just get hit. Okay, so that opens that. He's in the here with a bunch of these. No, no. You go bye bye. You go bye bye. Die. Die. You didn't think they'd bring these stupid doors back, but they did. I'm gonna grab that, actually. <laughs> these doors, the wobbly doors from dungeons prior. Where you hit it and it does things. So if you want to get rid of them, whoops! If you want to get rid of them, you got to do that. I blew up that door. Okay. And I'm gonna switch to better arrow, so I don't waste magic. Thank you. And boop. All right. So that gave us access to up here, which we're going to use, and then jump over. And then grab the boss. Key. Okay. Ow. A couple more rooms in this little part of the dungeon. This third floor is the quote unquote room that isn't a twin design in a sense. Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I forgot I had the bigger on sword on. <laughs> I just took that head on. <laughs> okay. So we need to hit this here. Which opens that. So we need to apply some sunlight in that room. And how do we do that? We need to move that thing. Whoops. I didn't want out. You did damage to me? Okay. Hi. Can you, can you not? Can you not? not? Get out of here. Get out of here. Get there. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move this. You're gonna, you're not gonna bother me, right? Don't bother me, please. So move this over here. And do the smart thing and bomb the wall. Which leads us into this room. Hi. Okay, thank you for the magic. 
Then we push this once more this way. And it appears... Yes, we got a chest back over in... And you can... There you go. So there's a hidden chest right here somewhere? Hmm. Is it actually hidden or do I gotta kill all the enemies? Hmm. So it appears I might need to kill all the enemies or something. Because I don't see it. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Probably inconsequential, but uh, let's get that really quick. I love the fact that Link still pushes those so hard <laughs> when he has the silver gauntlets at this point. Thank you. What are you? 20 rupees? Eh, bombs. I suppose that's nice, but uh, kind of a waste of time, honestly. It does get every chest in the dungeon, for the most part, so um, not complaining too hard. Yeah, let's do that in order to make the light go through to get back over here. Which puts the light down here. Which... Okay. Just make sure. And then set that there. Which then brings it down this way. And now we can use that to get rid of this face. That evil looking face. Pretty much entirely getting rid of it because it just makes it into a gate now. So that's fun. But yeah, before we continue, we have all the golden sculptulas. We are good here. So that should put me at 98. Yes, that's perfect. I'm missing two. I know exactly which ones I'm missing. So we hook shot that and it opens up. Which then allows us to go through. We are done here. Ho ho ho! Looks like someone is here, Uome. Hee hee hee, looks like it, Gotake. What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so boldly into our temple, ho ho ho. We should teach this outrageous fellow a lesson, hee hee hee! Our loyal minion. Destroy this intruder on our behalf. Alright, let's see if I can get rid of this one as fast as I did the first one. Alright. Put away the bad sword and give me the good sword. <laughs> there we go. Ow. Aha, you attacked me twice. I'm trying to be clever now. Where am I? Well, well, looks like she's back to normal, Kuume. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo Kotake. Maybe we should make her work a little for the Great Gandor. Just a little. Eh, I did not read that line right at all! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> then we should brainwash her again. Hee, hee, hee. Good job, Link. You totally stopped that one from happening. But yeah, if we want this fight to go well, we might want to equip a better weapon or just put it away. So, this fight. It's going to be a little bit of a fun time because we're going to be using a lot of mere shield shenanigans. So let's get up high. And do this right. Look at that stupid kid. He came in on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice of the great Ganador.
With my flame, I shall burn him to the bone. With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. Sorcerer Sisters Twin Rova. This fight is actually kind of unique in the fact that you need to be looking at both of them at all times because they always are in different positions. So you kind of got to bounce around and make sure you attack the right ones because they're always moving and so you guys sit there and get your shield lined up and then hit the right one with it you gotta do that quite a few times Gandalf's surrogate mother sorceress of flame she seems vulnerable to low temperatures yes thank you for that and then you on the other hand will say that you're vulnerable to high temperatures Okay, so let's get a good position because they're always aiming in weird ways. So you need to get a good position to where you're aiming it just right so you can kind of hit like that. I have no idea how I was able to block that even after going into the L, but I did. And I'm kind of happy that worked. Alright, so we need to get a good angle going. She's in a spot that's a little bit awful for this, but she might get close enough. Somehow she got close enough. <laughs> I have no idea how that counted, but I'm okay with that. So you're going to keep doing that? All right, aim just right, and aim at you. Okay, let's get serious now, Kotake. Oh, okay, Kuome. Kotake and Kuome's double dynamite attack. All right, so in this case, they are now fused together. It's combined form of both of them. I'm not even going to say their names because it's kind of, they're annoying. <laughs> Turn the magic tax back at them. So, we kind of just got to get our shield activated. So now we got fire in it, right? So whenever she actually does something, we just need to be careful. Because if we put ice in it, we're going to make it like cancel out. So we need to get at least three fires. Okay. And now it aims. And then we do damage. So we can go up now and actually do a lot of damage and attack, please. That could have gone a little better. <laughs> okay. So how about we go over here now and put this away because we're going to need to. So ice this time, right? Ice again? Yep. So now are you actually going to do some trickery and do the fire? Or are you just going to do ice again because I haven't done enough damage to you yet for you to be tricky? Yep. All right, so just get close enough, do this again, and this time, there we go. I wanted to do, can you attack please? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what's up with my attack, but it's not working. Okay, there we go. So, fire. So now I did a jump slash on you. Definitely should probably be at the point where you're gonna do, nope, still a double fire. So we just need one more fire. What are you gonna handle that? Yep, fire again. And come in and attack. So, yep. You never tried to trick me? Really? Okay. Shoot, what a fresh kid. Really? They use fresh this... Oh, the text goes by itself. No! Oh, well. They get sent to heaven, and they talk really fast. This scene actually went a lot slower in the original because of the fact that they talk slow, and then the game, like, kind of wants you to read it. But yeah, the text is like, boop, 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 boop. Two bickering old ladies. That's all we get out of this. Ironically enough, they do. <laughs> Just not in this game. So yeah, see the warp there? Make sure to grab that. <laughs> they put it on the whole other pedestal. 
All right. So now we have 20 hearts. We are maxed out. So let's head all the way on this side here. Let me thank you. They had to introduce me just so I can be one of the sages, honestly, because they had no one in this case. <laughs> Could have been the owl, but people do have theories about that owl that state that he's the light one, but you know. <laughs> Look what that little kid has become in the past seven years, a competent swordsman. By the way, really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny? That a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit. And now, I'm going to fight them as one of the six Sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid. No, Link, the hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Take it. You received the Spear Medallion. Nibiru awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. If only I had known you would become such a handsome man. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final countdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Who could that one be waiting for us be? Well, I'm not going to tell you just yet because I have a couple things left to do. So if we head back to the Grudo training grounds at nighttime. I promise it's nighttime. <laughs> it's like at the cusp of day. We aim back up here and we see what appears to be a golden scotula. So that brings our count up to 99, leaving us with one more golden scotula. Where is that at? I'll show you, but for now, next time an Azure plays more Legend of Zelda Ocarina time for the 3DS. Now that we have the Spirit Temple completed, and we have pretty much every item this game has to offer us. For the most part. There is the Grudo training grounds that we can do. We have access to the entire place now with everything in our possession. So we're going to do that. I'll see you all then.